Hello and welcome back, Zevlin here. Let's play some Mo Super States in Europa Universe Alice 4. Look how big my font's getting. I love it. Anyway, we're in a war with Texas, uh, so we're just going to be patient with that. Let that expire. New York and South Carolina. We're definitely going to fabricate some claims here on Lafayette. And I may as well go ahead and fabricate some claims on Illinois. I don't like tying up both my diplomats this way, but... Maybe we'll get them desynced soon. We will see. An extra relation slot. And I was considering turning New Mexico into a march, but I think I'm going to wait on that one. Oh, I don't really want to lose Republican tradition right now. Just before I was going to raise my... stability. But this doesn't make sense because I'm losing out on effectively 60 admin points. 60 Diplo and 60 Military to save a few admin points with Republican tradition, so I'm definitely going to take that. It's just unfortunate I'm going to have to spend a couple of admin points extra. Utah and Patriots are up to 20% already. Or 50%. That's probably going to fire pretty fast, actually. That's fine. We'll deal with them when they when they get here. Naval ambitions, huh? Yeah, of course I do. Anyway, uh, speaking of navies, I do have some coastline and I haven't built boats yet. So, speaking of navies, I was thinking about building trade ships. And speaking of trade ships, I probably ought to scout out what the hell I'm doing with my trade. Considering the only trade node... Actually, I, of course, my two coastal provinces are in two separate trade nodes. But I do have this uh, estuary... Which is nice. I may be needing to move my center of trade at some point. Somewhere eastward. What am I doing? Collecting here and here? Which is kind of silly. But I only have 17% trade power here. I mean, I own all the things, and <laughs> I can still only get 17% trade power. That's just absurd. There's no reason for me to stick around in this trade node, basically, is what that tells me. I need to move on to somewhere where I can get a little bit more trade power. So maybe I focus a little bit more on getting down here into Florida. What would that do for me? That would make... Caribbean pretty important, I think. No, I could transfer direct here. The only way Florida loses is by going down to the Caribbean. And this all transfers. Everything behind this line can transfer to Florida. Right? Including here? Yeah, it goes down here. So everything behind this Ohio line here can transfer down. I need to turn these pop-ups off. They're annoying me. Hmm. Florida may be it. Wait, what is this? Is this literally an end node? the heck? That's really weird. But I can transfer trade power from here. That's weird. Maybe an arrow is just missing. It's very strange. I mean, at the end of the day, though, having set up in New York, that actually does look like an endpoint, would be best. I 
don't know. I mean, that's a long ways away, obviously. Maybe I shouldn't be putting that much into it, thought into it. But New York looks like an endpoint. This looks like a decent point over here. Other than it transfers back to New York. So... New York is going to be my... mid-game goal to have my trade power set up there. But for now... For now, we focus on Florida. Alabama, how you doing, buddy? You're allied with Illinois and North Carolina, of course. Florida is allied with Texas, so we're probably not actually going to be able to do much in Florida. So with all that, and, you know, I don't think I'm going to build navies right now. I can only build three anyway, so it's really not going to do me much good, and I'm not even collecting trade down there, so... 5%, 8%. I have more trade power in these two nodes, though letting some of it come forward. I'm talking in circles. 5% down here. Yeah. Let's just leave it alone for now. I'm never going to make much money in trade until I move my trade node. Anyway, so... Workshop and courthouse. And naval ambitions it is. Um, Alabama has entered military coalition. Okay. new decisions missionary strength plus one percent cool uh extra stability cost for taxes no no i'm not gonna do that what policy can i enact diplo rep and improve relations it's not bad a little bit of diplo rep if i need to get over the top of something i need to remember that's there Kentucky does have the... Maybe we ought to go to war there. Kentucky has a claim on it. Who would that get me a war with? Illinois and North Carolina. Illinois I could humiliate. I believe I can humiliate them if I don't directly attack them. I'm not sure. Texas wouldn't get involved in this, which is unfortunate. Maybe we wait for Texas's war to be done. Ooh, I don't have a military advisor anymore. Morale or discipline? I think I'm gonna go discipline. I'm making enough money when my maintenance is down to have an admin guy, but he's just a tax guy. He's not really going to make me much money. I mean, taxes are what I'm making the most money off of right now, but that's, I mean, first of all, that's a little sad. Okay, Texas is piecing some people out, and they're eating some stuff into Mexico, which is a little bad. They're blocking me off. Okay. There we go. Let's give them a few months to reorganize. They may jump into a war with me now. Plus a little war exhaustion ticking away wouldn't be too bad. And I have quite a few rebels that are about to pop, of course. Um, but this war should be fairly easy. See, if I declared war, Texas would come. Virginia and Illinois would come. If I made Illinois a co-belligerent, they'd bring in South Dakota. That, that gets pretty big. I don't think I want to fight South Dakota at the same time. I'd rather just have an excuse to stomp on Illinois without calling in all their allies, so I think this is the right move. Though I need to raise my maintenance first this time. This isn't just a little piddly war. Give it at least a month. There's core, core, core. 
I don't have the claim on this, but Kentucky does. I do need to start fabricating some claims in some places. I think Illinois still has some... Yeah, two more places to claim over there. What is my mission? I haven't looked at it in a while. Scott's Bluff. Oh, well, crap, I need to do that. Anyway. I think it's time. Declare war, take it for Kentucky. Yes, call allies. No, don't co anybody. Declare war, done. Great. We're going to focus on Illinois first. Start marching towards this inevitable battle here. Oh, you're not going to fight Kentucky. Who are you? I don't know. Who am I at war with? <laughs> oh, Virginia. Hello, Virginia. It's shaping up to be a big war up here. Iowa insulted us? What? How dare you, Iowa? I'm gonna assault Arizona. Just to grab a little bit of extra power projection. It's not a bunch, but it's something. This is gonna be a large war up here if I can ever catch them. It doesn't look like I'm ever going to catch them. Cores are starting to come in. Excellent. All right. Battle of Peoria. I'm gonna take the one with the leader and chase him down. Gain or lose Republican tradition. I could gain taxes or just gain the tradition and piss off Iowa. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, actually, I'm going to sit... No, they're going to sit there. That's fine. They broke the walls already. Let's go squish this Illinois army. And... Who are you? Michigan still exists? Hmm. Okay. Next, I think we need to go smash... Alabama's decent sized army. Whoa, there's the rest of Illinois. I'm gonna definitely need my leader down here before I do too much more. Alright, where are you going? Let's start by trying to get into a battle with. Oh, there's South Carolina. Should I take them first? No, let's jump on Alabama. Yeah, they're all they're all piling in, but so are we. So we'll be fine. That's good. We'll get them all. Florida. What are you doing? Just make sure we yeah, completely wipe them. Alright. We are at war with South Carolina. For some reason I was thinking North Carolina. There we go. Military access from Ohio. Who are you fighting Ohio? Florida. By themselves. Interesting. Indiana, Virginia, and Pennsylvania? Okay, sure. You want some access? There you go. Okay, so my first order of business. I mean, by sieging Alabama, that's going to give me a 100% war score in the war itself, but I need to get some people out of the war. Well, I mean, it won't give me the 100% right away. Sorry. I, I misspoke a little bit. I meant it will... If I set back for five years, I mean, it will give me the hundred percent eventually. Ooh, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Let's just kind of block them in a little bit. I'm just gonna loot up South Carolina. Okay. 
We'll let Florida have their way with them. Oh, no, 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 that's not good. Well. Need to grab these armies. A chance at extra spy offensive or just gain prestige? Eh. Well, prestige is capped. I may as well take the shot at extra spy offensive. I don't really care either way, to be honest. Alright, before I take this, where is my core in progress? Okay. Yes. Boost stability right now. In fact... I'm gonna go ahead and boost it twice. Since I have it as low as I'm going to ever, ever see it. Again, at 97 probably, and no overextension. Then we're going to go ahead and sack five points. Let's go take care of... Oh, crap. Get in there. Illinois, you are being a burden. A giant freaking nuisance. And I have a lot of men that need to replenish. So I'm actually going to do something like this. Stick these guys back into our territory. Give them a couple of months to, to regain some manpower. Well, I'm out of manpower. Cool, free claim. I am completely out of manpower. Yeah, we're going to re-elect this guy. Okay, so without manpower, what is my game plan here? I suppose I could buy a bunch of mercenaries. Or I could just merge these two armies together. And consolidate. What does that leave me at? A 6, 4, 9? That's probably fine. I could probably stand to grab a couple of mercenary, mercenary infantry to supplement these ranks. I may do that still. We'll see. Let's convert the next thing. Woodbury. I highly doubt in Woodbury. They say it like that. I don't know. They are... Iowa, who knows who knows what they sound like. Especially in that part of Iowa. They could sound like they're from Minnesota. Minnesota. I'm not gonna use the Diplo power just yet. I like, I like what you're thinking here, Kentucky. Let's get rid of their army. Yay, 900 manpower. So awesome. All right. What should we do first to make sure we get out of them, out of this war with Illinois first? I could probably peace out South Carolina if I wanted to. I don't really see the point. Okay, I am going to reverse course, but I'm going to go ahead and buy this tech first. Then reverse course. Grab a little bit more missionary strength. Plow through all this missionarying work we need to do. And win more battles. And I'm going to go ahead and split these dudes up. And just kind of carpet siege until Illinois gives up. Walls breached. Oh no. Ah, crap, there's the revolts. Suppose I wait for the... Oh crap, who are you? South Carolina? Dang it. We need to get South Carolina out of this war. That's all there is to that. Alright. Let's talk to South Carolina. Virginia, Illinois... Virginia too? Whoa, and North Carolina, what happened? What happened here? Uh, I don't remember fighting all these people. North Carolina will not get out of the war. 
Member of a coalition? Wait, what? I didn't realize they were in the coalition. That's why I was so confused. Okay, anyway. We can get... Basically nobody out of this war yet. North Carolina will not. Virginia. Virginia will leave. Though I could feed them stuff. I think. I could feed things. Oh yeah, Kentucky has claims on them. We're going to be taking some stuff from these people. The only person I really want out of this war? South Carolina. The only person I can't peace out? South Carolina. Of course. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and take a break here. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.